Hey guys, Vermont Prepper here, and I've been working with generators recently, and I picked up this Duramax uh, hybrid generator, which is uh, 12,000 watt peak power, and I think it's like 9,500 or something like that for continuous. <clears throat> but the thing that I really wanted to, to focus on today is the uh, what I consider a really good setup for a hundred pound uh, propane tank to use with this generator. Um, I have a 25 pound propane tank hooked up as well, uh, a system hooked up, but I really had to do a lot of research on this 100 pound to get it proper with the you know proper regulator and uh, some of the conditions that I set for the design. So basically what I wanted is a very easy, quick release design for a 100 pound generator or a 100 pound uh, propane tank. And if you see right here, I'm going to go through all these parts in detail. But basically, this part right here is the key because uh, this right here, this connector or this, this, uh, uh, opening right here is a what's called a pol um inlet and you can only screw it in and it's a left hand screw screw turn to tighten and i wanted to have also a gauge on there to let me know if number one if there's any leaks and number two how full the tank is because you really don't know what a hundred hundred pound tank or any tank for that fact and then the next thing is getting the proper regulator. Now this right here, uh, I spent hours and hours, literally hours of research on. And I could tell you that out of the propane industry, I found that they sort of have a, uh, a God complex. Think of like uh, an inspector that comes to your house and is trying to uh, you know, they're trying to get uh, an inspection done on your electrical system. Well, they can pass or fail you, right? And they have a God complex. I went through this in my Miami house. This is what I mean by that. So they have this sort of righteous uh, attitude, I found, and I called a number of them. Righteous attitude on uh, help. Oh, you know, we, you can't do this unless you're licensed, all this stuff. And I was like, "Look, dude, I just want I just want some help. Uh, let me know you're not you're not liable for anything. You're only giving me information." So I called a number of these people, and I'll say that uh, I only had one that was willing to help, and it was uh, Marshall Excelsior. And so they have a they have a client for life. So this is a Marshall Excelsior uh, regulator and the guy helped me size it and everything. And I, again, I'll go through all of this because there's, there's a number of these things out there where they don't go through any of the, uh, connections or anything. And I'm going to go through all of them. And I'll provide a link if you guys want to do this. So right here, you see a, uh, quick connect right here. So I can easily disconnect my line right here. And then I also have a disconnect right there so it makes it really easy to connect and disconnect I don't have to worry about leaks and putting tape on there and all that kind of garbage uh, I already did that with these little adapters right here I screwed them together with you know the proper propane gas tape and it's yellow uh, because again there's some of those uh, setups out there that you see on YouTube and they don't they're not using the yellow tape which is very dangerous because propane is corrosive and this yellow tape actually uh, really um, stops the corrosion. Now also, this generator, this is the second version of this generator and it comes with a regulator uh, right here as well. It's a second a secondary uh, regulator and the generator itself package came with this regulator right here which I'm using on my 25 pound tank and you can see right here I have a really easy setup with a gauge on this tank as well 
and again a quick connect there. Uh, so I, I think the older generators uh, of this model did not come with this regulator if I'm mistaken. If anybody knows different, let me know. So I basically had to use this regulator to size up for this regulator. And this is what's called a two-stage regulator. All right, you have first, second stage. Uh, and I, before all this, I knew nothing about propane or anything uh, related to propane uh, in detail, you know, other than hooking up a gas grill. So uh, it really, it really, uh, I, I learned quite a bit. And you, you really, I really learned quite a bit about the industry as well. So anyway, let's give this a test. And this is the first time that I'm actually turning it on. So with this generator, you don't, you don't choke it with propane. Okay, you make sure the gas line is off, which is right here, and that's in the off position. Because you could put gas in there as well. Then there's your uh, off and start, but then you also have to make sure that your, your choke, which is right here, is in the left or or uh, off position. You don't want you don't want to choke with, with propane, according to the manual. All right, so here we go. Beautiful, starts up. All right, so we know that's working pretty well. Uh, and next what I'll do is I'll go through the the actual fittings and how I fit them all together to make it work. Okay guys, so what I usually do when I first start out and want to accomplish something, I put together what I call my design criteria. And for this setup, I really wanted it to be portable. Uh, able to load it up in my trailer really quick if I had to bug out with it and and have the necessary power available. Um, easy, quick connect, so anyone can easily hook up the uh, line without having to worry about hooking up propane fittings and connections and worrying about putting on the tape right and, and worrying about leaks. So quick connect. Uh, I wanted to have enough fuel to last for at least a day, if not more, of continuous running. And uh, ideally, we wouldn't run it constantly. So I would imagine we would have enough fuel for over a day with a 100-pound tank. Uh, I believe it runs eight hours on one of the 25-pound tanks. So I'm guessing we're going to have at least a day, maybe two if we stretch it out. And also the benefit of this gener generator is the dual, dual fuel source capability. So you can uh, use gasoline or high or um, propane with it. So that, that was a, a key factor for me uh, when going through and researching generators to, to purchase. And then I wanted one large enough to power anything that I that I really wanted to. Uh, and this generator could actually serve as a whole house generator, given the size. Um, you know, 9,500 um, watt continuous power for regular AC input, 120 volt. Uh, dual fuel technology again. Uh, the wheels on there, you can take it over any terrain. Uh, again, that was pretty good. And they actually have a good deal on Amazon now. It looks like uh, $7.95 for a used, a used one. Uh, and, you know, if it's this second generation one, that's pretty good. Because, again, it comes with a regulator setup that you can hook up right away for a 25-pound uh, tank. And it's actually an, an upgraded version of the original one. Uh, given that regulator system there. Okay, here's the uh, tank, 100-pound uh, 
steel propane tank and it has what they call the uh, POL um, adapter or not adapter uh, fitting on it and it, you'll see you screw in left to tighten it so again I you don't have to have a hundred pound but that's that's what I wanted and I think it it makes sense and I put it on a uh, uh, a uh, hand truck so you can easily move it around I strapped it to it all right you'll need some tape and this is specifically for gas as you see here so you want some gas tape and it's yellow and I'll post all the links again in the video in the description uh, this is the main part right here so I'm gonna go back and forth between or this is the first part of the connection I'm gonna go back and forth between this the computer here and and the actual hookup for the generator so this right here is your uh, tank adapter that is a gauge with and this this part right here is the part that screws in left hand thread into your POL um, tank connection so that's this right here that's this right here so you put it in I put some you know some pipe um, some some of the thread tape right there and you just screw it in like this right and then you can unscrew it to the right it's opposite and again it has the gauge okay the next part of the actual fitting and this is the key part right here without without this you can't do a, a quick disconnect from your tank all right this is a uh, a, a uh, gas regulator valve and what it does it's specific to a quarter inch male pipe thread which the regulator that I bought has that's the inlet and then this will hook up to the the uh, gauge that that I just showed you it's on this side so this is the part that really adapts from the gauge to the regulator. And again, I, I wanted, I forgot to put this in my design criteria, I wanted a gauge as well on the tanks just so that I have an idea of, of how full it is and, and, if it, and if it was leaking. Okay, so that, that was part of the design criteria that I forgot to put. And that is this over here. That's this right here. This is the part that goes on regular thread. Uh, quick connect, you just screw it on. You don't need any kind of um, any kind of gas uh, pipe thread. And then this is the quarter inch fitting that fits into this particular regulator. So it can fit into any regulator that has a quarter inch um, inlet, okay? All right. The next thing is the regulator. So, this is the Marshall Excelsior MEGR 298. And this regulator has the quarter inch inlet and it has a 3/8 inch outlet. All right. So, and it's all regular pipe thread. So, see right here it says quarter inch female and again female pipe thread and a 3/8 female pipe thread and the way I size this in talking with the Marshall Excelsior <clears throat> uh, guy that I called is by BTU so uh, I found the one closest to the the uh, regulator that came with the actual Duramax generator so this one you know it's I think it's 175,000 BTU. Um, I don't think it says it in here, but I believe it's 175,000 BTU. 
and the the generator one is like uh, either 120 or 150 and he said that's plenty close enough you don't want to get one too big and you don't want to get one too small and this one you know was well within the range that um, that this particular application works with okay so this is the model number and you can see this right here it's the regulator here's the vent and here's the um, it's a little adjustment here for the pressure I, I just left it on a default you really don't have to do anything and then here's here's a little uh, where to, where the uh, where the where the uh, actual hose starts so I'm gonna go over that next and there's a couple fittings you'll have to get for that okay so the first fitting is this uh, mr. heater uh, gas connector kit and basically what I use I didn't use this whole part to, and this is the part that I connected to the hose so I connected I took this last piece off right here. And let me uh, see. No, I'll just start right here. I took this last piece off. This comes off, and this is a 3 8 to 3 8 male adapter. And here's your quick connect, right? That hooks up to the regulator. Okay? So here's your 3 8 connect your adapter this is your quick connect and here is your hose all right so we're going to go and I'll show you the hose that I got and that's also a Mr. Heater hose So this is your hose right here, and you see it comes with a quick connect side right there, and it comes with a regular 3 8 inch male or female pipe thread size or side on the other side. All right, so for the other side, I got this particular um disconnect and here's how I use that so basically this other side has I'll show you that here's your end of the of the uh, hose then you now have another 3h to 3h male uh, to male adapter and then here's your other quick disconnect and then remember that one piece I took off on the first adapter or the first disconnect that hooks up right here and you screw that on with some some uh, pipe pipe um, uh, thread fittings or thre pipe thread tape you put it on there with this and here's your other quick disconnect so basically it'll hook into here quickly and it'll hook up into here quickly all right so we got two sides this side hooks into the generator right I'm doing this one hand so I'm not gonna be able to hook it up but hooks in right into here all right like this oh, I was able to do it and then the other side hooks right into here very quickly, right? So that's basically the setup. Um, I'm really pleased with it. It runs really well. And um, I think, you know, what you're going to see on YouTube, uh, you'll see a lot of setups with the one, and particularly with this uh, unit right here, this generator. There's a guy on YouTube that has this set up, but he never tells you what the regulator he was using. I think he's actually using too big of a regulator. Um, 
but this regulator that I got will definitely work with this um, and it's and it's rated properly. So I talked to the pros again at Marshall Excelsior. Good guys to work with and I told them they had a, a, a client for life, right? Because again, nobody else wanted to help. So anyway, I hope you guys like this and uh, you know, please comment, like, or subscribe and uh, feel free to uh, contact me if you have any questions as well. All right, Vermont Prepper out and as always, keep prepping.